domestic abuse. Two words, when put together, can mean something very serious. Every one in three women are abused. Yes, one in three. And every one in four men are physically beaten by their intimate partner. Just think, that could be you, you, or even you. Now, when my 17-year-old brother was born, he was born with special needs. And from the moment he was born until I was five, both him and my mother was beaten, burnt, and shunned by my father just because of his disability. She hid this behind a fake smile for seven years, and it hurts. It hurts me here to know that she let him win for that long. But after those years, she stood up for herself. She got him out. Now, you're probably asking yourself, did I ever get hurt? Never. I never got hurt by that monster just because I was the perfect child, or I was the one that he wanted. The worst part about this, I was helpless. I had to sit back and watch him do those horrible things, and it made me feel disgusting. Abuse doesn't just happen in the homes. It happens to, in a place where everyone has been in their life. It happens at school. Every day, students are bullied by other students, and even the teachers are bullied. I have been in classes where students have used such foul language against the teachers. They don't deserve it. I mean, don't get me wrong, sometimes it is fun to annoy the teachers a little bit, but some students take it too far. Even I got bullied, both physical and verbal. Students used to call me names every single day. Now, I always ask myself, how did this righteous, handsome, smart young man get bullied? Well, it did, and it happened to me for many years. And I hid this behind a fake smile so that my mother didn't have to worry about my school life. Abuse doesn't just have to be physical, cyber, or sexual. Worldwide, people's human rights are abused. Take child trafficking. 27 million people have been enslaved and sent across borders to people that have bought them in an auction. 23 million people have been forced out of their country in the Islamic State and are now refugees just because there are nine civil wars going on between Pakistan and Nigeria, all because someone violated their human rights. Human rights are something that everyone deserves, and abusing these dehumanizes people. I stood up to abuse, my mother stood up to abuse, then you can too. So next time you think about abuse, human rights, or bullying, think about how serious they are and how we can help this.